Hello, darlings. Um, if you're anything like me, you're single, praying for love. You miss companionship. You know, I've talked about this quite a few times. And God keeps me busy, so I don't think about it as much. Because if I do, then I'll get lonely. But I want to talk about being a celibate saint. It is, again, I always say it is not easy because we wrestle with the flesh. And oh my gosh, you know, sex is an amazing thing, but it's even more amazing when you have a sexual connection and um, an intimate relationship with our Heavenly Father and you're with the person that um, He designed for you and only you, you cannot sit there and say, oh, well, I'm having the best sex ever with my side chick or my man that I got on the side or he got a wife at home. No, there's a covenant there. Uh, your uh, married boyfriend uh, can't be your boyfriend. He belongs to somebody else. He wasn't meant for you, never will be. And if he does that to her, what make you think he ain't going to do the same thing to you? So, let's stay prayed up. You know, I, I try not to think about it because, you know, that Euphrates River is drying up. And soon those four angels are going to be released out of there and Jesus going to be coming back. But I ain't going to lie, I just pray before he come back, I get the chance to experience what love is. I get the chance to experience a man studying me, traveling the world, caring about my heart, making love to me, what I like and don't like, holding, caressing me, what it's like to have somebody to pour into me the way I always have other men, but I never got it in return. The romance that I always gave whether I had the money or not, you know, just making a cheap tortina pizza for a dollar with a, a box of wine and lighting a candle on the TV tray, you know, butterflies in your stomach, happy to see them. I missed, I never had it, but I want to experience. You can too. I'm praying for you. Pray for me.